been 30 years? Uh, the sword, yeah, for 30 years. What started are September 16, 1978, what? up in Prescott, Arizona. What are the martial arts in? I started with Korean karate, and then after I got into that, I started doing different weapons. And then when I picked up the sword, I liked it, and by 1984, I was in Japan learning, doing a master's in kendo. So I was sort of fun, and then stayed there until about 1998 and came back here. And my job is to go around to the United States and teach school owners and instructors how to teach the sword effectively to young, to young youth or adult students. Uh, a lot of the time, it's a lot of it is combative, like we're doing, and then about 10% of that is more traditional. So that works in really, really well that way. As you've noticed, is that you have a good sweat. You'll probably sleep really well tonight. But it was pretty fun. But the nicest thing about this is it's teaching you how to get out of a situation. Instead of going ah, 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 like that, you can see it coming in a lot easier. What's going to happen is, well, for example, in Japan, all students practice the story, or judo, one of the two. And those students become good students. And what I'm trying to say is the literacy rate in Japan is the highest in the world because they put this into the school systems to make sure their mind and body are working together. And it works in very, very well that way. And then from there, they go on to like Kendo, and then they go on to Yaido, Tamishigiri, and all that. So down the road, for example, we practice a little softer weaponry. Down the road, we're going to practice how to manipulate a wood sword. A little bit farther down the road, we're going to practice how to draw real swords and do cuts, and then we'll get into Tamishigiri, which is test cutting, and those aspects. So if you're interested in that, within maybe a two or three month period of time, you'll be able to handle a samurai sword better than anybody in your block or your street. Which is sort of cool, really, if you think about it, because what it will do, it will give you a good foundation into using weaponry, because remember, all weaponry was made to defend against the sword in Japan. So if you learn how to use a sword and the simplicity of a sword, picking up a pair of sighs or a staff or whatever, it's like, well, oh, how quaint. Because you just use it in a simple fashion. Any questions? None? Okay, stand up. Nope.